Guys, yeah, sometimes I, uh, I, I like to see you guys do the move, almost like just because I want to see you guys coordinate. Coordinate like when, when, you're in, when you're in trouble or you feel getting stuck of something, you need to be able to just break down and not just stay there and not just kind of like give up the position. Sometimes you don't even gonna like uh, feel the danger, but it would be much safer if you just break out of the position, or you just don't like uh, uh, lose your balance from the position. So sometimes you have to just build like your coordination and your balance together. What you think, Paul? Stand up. I have my back on the mat, and he just go to set up a, a footlock. So many times the person goes to the floor because my foot is already uh, out of the floor. If my foot was on the floor, I don't think he can reach like that easy. If I'm in pump on my back, he can easily put my foot under his armpit. If the person howls, howls, just like that. If the person howls, the first thing is going to happen, I'm going to kick and, and turn my ankle, right? So he locked his way, I'm just turn my ankle out. I don't think I can come out the other way because it's gonna be against, but it's it's open up. So if he falls, first thing's gonna happen, just a, a little quick, a little push, and get that up. If he goes on the other way, cross, 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 cross. If you go the other, you okay? If you go the other way, same thing. I'm going towards the way that it's coming. It's, it's coming out. I cannot turn like inside his elbow because it's, that is not open. The open comes from this side, right? So there's no open that side. So it would be like, but the person that is good, the person that locks really quick, he's not gonna have the pulse. He's probably he's gonna lock and fall at the same time. He's gonna lock and fall. And the problem is like that. When the person lock and fall, sometimes you get stuck. And you get stuck from that, the other person kind of start going to your back. The person start like uh, invert and go underneath after you defend. So we just don't wanna be on that position. So for example, straight like this. If you fall, as soon as he falls, don't worry. As soon as he falls, I'm I'm having a quick reaction. I have a quick reaction to sit up. Imagine you kind of you see that coming, maybe that guy show that it's what he's going away. Just come up on top. As you come up on top, you try to not let the person go away from you. You don't you don't let him push you and keep you away. You don't want to fall and lose your balance. So I'm gonna just try. Try to stay with him. To stay with him, sometimes I can use the collar, I can use the same side, and sometimes like I need to just kind of like clean the knee and try to get on top. And I, I'll, I'll most likely to stay close to him. But the most important, I'm, ju I'm just trying to react based on him uh, attacking. So one more time. So the other person is going to be, as soon as I fall, I'm not using my hands because I was ready to come up. I use my hands because my hands can be used to do something else. Like uh, my hands can be like open this to don't let this foot goes on my hip. I can be make a, a better grip to have everything clear. I can be more to try to pass. But most I don't want to get on top of you. So I can use my hand to get this. So if I can use the momentum to have a quick reaction, that would be the best. He's not showing to me and pausing, but he's showing that like he's going to go forward, so I don't have to wait. And I don't have to use my hand. Okay. It's gonna go forward at the same time. And if he starts stretch, if the person is taller than me, and if I feel my legs getting too like uh, extended, I'm close at this and I use my hands to get close to him. Maybe I don't even pass. Maybe I don't even pass. Maybe I don't even pass the guard, but I don't, I don't like he's with me. Sometimes I don't pass, but sometimes like a uh, over here, if, you, if, I, if, I, if I defend the foot lock, I'm, I get two points, you know what I mean, from the referee, so now he's on the ball, two points. I wanna make sure that nothing has changed. So, so the whole point, even if you don't have to pass, if you just have a good gash, you'll be fine to be on top. But if, he, if he's better, he's not gonna go to the foot and stop. He's gonna go to the foot and just fall. And sometimes that fall, he just wanna like uh, make advantage, you know what I mean? You don't want to let him go there, like uh, uh, show that he's gonna make a tap, and then you defend, and then he come back so on top, and now he has one advantage because he, he pretend that he's gonna make a tap. He just wants to look like he's gonna make a tap. So most of the time, even if you got the advantage, you got on top, so you get the points and you get the advantage. I believe like uh, that would solve the problem. One more time. So, 
So instead of like has the breakdown, I want you guys just have like a quick reaction. As he falling, as he, he falling, try don't use only his momentum. Try make your own momentum. As he falling, you kick. As he falling, look, and try get on top. Once you get on top, you have to try to stay here. Sometimes if you start kick, you gotta control this leg. Sometimes if you start to stretch away from you, you gotta hold it and keep it close. If you feel your foot is already start about to crank, one more reason to keep it close. If you have his his ankle, just uh, if you have his his sleeves, even his sleeve, hold his sleeve. But I want you guys just have the quick reaction when he fall, you come up. When he fall, you, you swing your leg, you rock your leg and get on top. So who's on top, guys? Most like, most like, just walk. Who's on top? Most like, and fall. And the other person just falling up, falling up with that position. Let's go, try, guys.